Hi all, this is Tim Olson. Today we're going to look at the Make Associative option inside the Sub D to NURB tool in Shark FX9. We have a race car body that we're going to do some modeling operations on. These consist of converting the mesh into a NURB and then doing some subsequent uh, shelling and blending operations. To start off with, let's move our, our mesh body off to the side over here and we'll convert that into a solid. I'll select the Sub D to NURB tool, go to the options, and we're going to pick Make Associative. Then select our mesh. Now we're going to slide the resulting solid back over to the chassis. With our solid, we're going to perform some modeling operations, starting off with a shell command. I'm going to shell the body to 0.1 inches. I'll select it and I'm going to click off to the side indicating I want it to show all of the faces. Next I'm going to subtract off an area for the driver to sit. I'm going to go to the boolean operations, subtract, and again I'm going to go to the options and I'm going to put a edge treatment on the resulting intersections from the boolean operation. Let's select edge treatments. I can pick radial or chamfer. I'm going to pick radial. I shelled it at 0.1 inches, so my blends I want to be smaller, so I'll make 0.05. I'll select my body and I'll select a surface that will cut out the region for the driver to sit. And note that all of the intersecting edges have an edge treatment applied to them being a radial fillet. Next we'll cut out the axles. This time I'm going to keep my parents and I'm going to have my radius. I'll select my body and subtract off the axle area. Likewise, I'll do the front. And you can see in this area we've cut out from our, our race car body and we've added a small fillet around the intersecting edges. If we look at our feature tree for our, the race car body, we can open it up and we can see that we have a subdivision solid that was built from a mesh it's been translated, it's been shelled, and three uh, subtraction operations to it. I can go to any of these feature operations and let's for example take our rear axle and slide it back and note that the operation for the subtraction regenerates itself. Now what's really neat, you can go back to the original mesh modify it and have all subsequent operations update as well. Let's go ahead and extend the nose of our race car and I'm going to grab all those points and use the gripper. I'm going to slide it out a little bit and note our nose increases. Likewise let's make our nose a little bit smaller and while it's still selected I'm going to scale down those points. And again, you can see how we um, how our front end changed. Next, let's go ahead and we're going to bring this. We're going to raise this area up. And to do that, I'll just select these facets, hold the shift key, and again use the gripper to pull these up. And you can see our area is now elevated behind the driver's seat. Let's do one more change. I'm going to jump into the top view and I'm going to grab the, the rear of our car body and I'm going to turn on the gripper and put turn off uniform scaling. And we're just going to take all these points and scale them in X, making our body wider. And so you can see how our, our modeling operations all updated based on our, our mesh changes.